Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Always Secured Automation. In this channel we will talk about instrumentation and control in power plant. In this video, we will discuss about Durag DR290 dust or opacity working principle and testing method. What is dust or opacity monitoring? The opacity monitor can be used for continuous emissions monitoring in smokestacks, exhaust ducts, and other similar applications. What is working principle of dust or opacity monitors? Dust and opacity monitors operate on the basis of the transmission principle. The measuring head sender and the reflector receiver are fitted opposite to each another. The transceiver emits a beam of light, which passes through the stack or duct and strikes a reflector. The light beam is reflected back. And the amount of light returned is measured by the transceiver. Dust particles in the stack will absorb and scatter the transmitted beam of light, so the returned light will be less than the transmitted light. The ratio of the returned light to the transmitted light is called the transmission. 1 minus the transmission is referred to as opacity. Let us discuss the components used. Number 1 is Control Unit, DR290AZG. This consists of power supply unit for transceiver, display unit, and system parameters setting. Calibration functions and the quarterly audit filters tests can be initiated from this unit. Number 2 is transceiver DR290MK. This transmits light to the reflector and receives the light from the reflector. The DR290MK contains the modulated white LED light source, the detector, and the hardware for performing the daily calibration checks. Number 3 is reflector DR290. The light that hits the reflector is returned parallel to the incoming light and back to the transceiver. Number 4 is Stack Flange DR280E. This is used to support the monitor on the stack. Number 5 is Purge Air Unit. This protects the monitor from contamination on the external optical surface and keeps unit from overheating. Number 6 is Recording Device. Durag can supply a chart recorder, but normally the customer has a recorder or data logging system to use to record the data. Number 7 is Weather Hoods for Transceiver and Reflector. This is a large fiberglass box with a hinged cover to protect stack opacity components from the weather and birds. Number 8 is Weather Hood for Purge Air System also available. Number 9 is Fail-Safe Shutters DSK to 80 MA. The shutter will close during a loss of power supply or loss of purge air. This will prevent damage from the stack gas entering inside the opacity system. Number 10 is Fail-Safe Shutter Control Electronics DSK to 90 A. This is the sensor electronics for the purge airflow sensor and has the battery pack to run the shutter motor and has control functions to open and close the shutter when instructed. Following points to check as routine maintenance of system, cycle can be minimum 1 or 3 month depends on site condition. First, clean transceiver, reflector window and zero point reflector with soft cloth. Water, alcohol or glass cleaner can be used to clean optics. Second, clean external parts of units. Third, check the healthiness of failsafe shutters. Fourth, check all seals and mounting hardware. Fifth, check the purge air system and air hose. Sixth, check and clean filter and replace if very dirty. Seventh, any deposits or buildup in the mounting flanges should be removed. Dirt on the failsafe shutter can be removed with a brush or cloth and a cleaning solution that dries without leaving a residue. Never use a solution that damages aluminum. Clear Path Procedure In this procedure the measuring zero is set. The transceiver and reflector are mounted to the exact distance as on the stack or duct in a clean room with minimum dust in the air such as an air-conditioned office. 
This procedure then adjusts the monitor so that a 0% opacity reading is obtained. This procedure should be done in the factory and normally will not be done in the field. Manual internal zero point, window check. Normally the window check reading should not need to be electrically adjusted. If the window check reading increases, it indicates there is dust or contamination on the window or zero point reflector. Cleaning these surfaces should return the window check reading to near 0% opacity. At some time, it may be necessary to adjust the window check reading back to zero. Follow the steps below mentioned. Step 1. Clean the optical surfaces of the transceiver, the window and the zero-point reflector, with a cloth designed for optics that does not leave any residue. Step 2. Press modern plus keys on the control panel, select the window check measurement. Step 3. Remove the cover of the DR290MK transceiver housing and on the circuit board, push switch S44 on the 6 terminal switch S4 to the off position. Step 4. Put switch S3 calibration function to the on position. Step 5. Toggle switch S5 must be set to free memory axis so that the red LED lights. The first line of the display should alternate between offset plus and window check. Step 6. Press push button S8 minus for a lower value and button S7 plus to increase the value to adjust the internal 0 to 4 mA. Step 7. Keep in mind that this new value will not take effect until after the 5 second integration time. Therefore, use the buttons briefly and then wait at least 5 seconds before pressing a button again. The yellow LED should light when the buttons are being used. Step 8. At the end of the calibration, the switches should be returned to their normal positions. Place the housing lid back on the unit and tighten the screws. Thank you for watching our video.